Only Survivor. I'm Jamal Shipman. I'm 31 years old and I'm from right outside of Providence, Rhode Island. You just met the final Survivor. I love adventure. I love getting outside and exploring new places. I've been to Hawaii to go snorkeling. I've been to the Dominican Republic. I've been to Disney World. I get into caves, go on beaches, um, climb mountains, watch the sunrise, ride on the ATVs through the mud, uh, and just live life. You know, have these incredibly present moments where I'm just connected to what's going on around me. So this is Bagheera. Say hi to the people, puppy. Hi, people. I grew up in Jersey City, New Jersey with my mom. It was really nice to have her there and her love and support of me. What I ended up doing is uh, going to a program called the Prep Tech Program in New York City, uh, where I studied really hard to get the opportunity to go away to a prestigious boarding school in Massachusetts. So imagine that, right? Inner city, Jersey kid being plucked from that environment and going to a ridiculously different culture. And I think what that has taught me to do is to be able to straddle different cultures and understand different people. I have picked up the base about two months ago. Um, so at the school where I work, I actually uh, the varsity basketball coach. But I was tri-varsity uh, my junior and senior year in high school. So I played football, basketball, and track. So I think I could run fast. <laughs> Here's what I think is gonna happen. People are gonna look at me, right? And they're gonna see 6'3", 235 pounds, and built like an athlete, right? But the secret is, I think there's much more to me than just sports. I graduated from Ivy League school, Brown University. I sing, I dance. And I was a psychology concentrator. So I feel like I understand the way the mind works, I understand group dynamics, and I understand how to build relationships. And I know that I'm gonna have to use that out there on the island. I've been told that I uh, am typically like a, a very, very patient and calm, soothing presence in a lot of people's lives, which is not so bad. I'm willing to listen. I'm, I'm willing to take the time to get to know someone and value their perspective. I am currently single. I was in a five-year relationship that ended recently. What I've come to realize in this short amount of time that I've been single is I now have the opportunity to explore myself. I'm in this, I'm in this, this, this place in life where I just want to meet people, explore connections, um, and see where it goes. I like to keep things interesting. Not only do I work at Lincoln School as the Associate Director of Admission, but I also just a few months ago started driving for Uber. At like one time, I think I was the getaway car for these kids who were trying to get away from the cops and they jumped into my Uber car and just told me to drive and don't look back and I was like, all right, that's the life of an Uber driver. Figure, hey, if you want me to go on Survivor, give me a high five. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> See that? Hey Survivor. I think it's pretty clear that Jamal Shipman will be your next survivor. So I'm a student of the game. I, I've watched many episodes. There are three distinct phases of the game that require different strategies. If people think that you're valuable in challenges, you're helping around uh, the camp, and you are an asset to the social dynamics of the tribe, you're in. Nobody's going to consider you. So that's what you have to achieve for the first few days, a couple of weeks all even. the way to the end. And at some point, there's going to be a betrayal or two that might have to take place. Um, and I'm okay with that. I understand what is necessary to win this game and can respect a good move. Idols, winning challenges, those are all bonuses. The foundation of the game is in the social dynamics, the forming relationships, and making the smart move at the right time.